up guys and back to another video so in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how i make my thumbnails so basically i use pixlr it's an um web app here so let me just remove this image and show you how i do it so i click on this then image then you go to your recent image which go to quick access or whatever and then click on your recent thumbnail then you resize it to fit over here and then you can adjust it a little bit kind of center it or whatever like that and then I go on this little tool right here, which would be a third one. I don't know if I can actually see what it is. It's called Lasso Select. Then you want to go to here. And what you want to do is you just want to trace the car. So go down here and just start tracing it like this. Try to get it as good as possible. Does It, it doesn't have to be perfect, though. Nobody will really, really notice it because it's just a thumbnail and just, I don't know what just happened there. But you just want to select the car like this and trace it like that you can zoom in if you want and get more realistic but I don't really like focus around these corners really I just just go with the flow I guess and you just want to click this without clicking anything else keep going like that now I'm just going through this pretty quickly just so I can get it done so this is not the only thing we're doing you can get this if you want, but since you're just getting the car, you just want to skip anything else like in the background. So you see, I went a little like over the yellow, but you can just fix it like that. Then now the wheels, you just want to make sure you get these nice and good. Trace them the best you can. And then control and then scroll kind of is like better. So we messed up here. You just want to do that. Now it's not going to look perfect, but it looks somewhat pre presentable. So just keep going like that. Just keep tracing it. Boom. Then you will be coming up towards the end. What you want to do here now is just connect it like that. Then you want to make sure you're select on the image, I believe. And you want to click Control C as many times as you want, so you make sure it's copied. And then Control D, actually, Control V. There we go. So you want to make sure it is perfectly um, placed. I think that's good. All right. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So now what you want to do is you want to click on the little blur sharpen smudge. You want to click on the image. And then you want to make sure you're on blur brush you want to go back here click on 200 and then you want to click on strength i usually do 70 so you just want to go around now and just blur the background out like so that's not gonna look perfect but you don't have to do too much blur a little bit of blur is fine you can do a second layer if you want. Just keep going up and down like that. And then like that. So now you got a little bit of blur, not too much, but so if you want to make the car uh, pop a little bit, you want to go to adjustment, brightness and contrast and make the contrast. Uh, if you want like that, but I think it's fine, like a 13 brightness, not too bright, but I don't know, just make it pop a little bit. Then you want to go to hue and saturation and do this not too bright like i said then you want to go to vibrance and mess with this nothing you can really do here make it pop out a little bit i guess now for the background you can do the same exact thing by clicking brightness and contrast and yeah that just looks crazy just do that a little bit not too dark brightness kind of make it a little bit brighter so you can actually see it then go to uh hue and saturation just looks pink but I think that's good right there then vibrance and then you just want to do that so I think that's that that looks good enough so if you see like these little like smudges or whatever it's because the thumbnail was taken like at night but it's not too noticeable it actually looks pretty cool but if it's like too dark it's gonna have a lot of smudges so I would do it at uh, like in the day like when you're in game so you actually see it better but to add uh, text you do this and then you wanna I use um, 
right here daddy day it's a weird name but it looks the best uh the best one so do that so i do the like the black background so you want to go here boom size make it 10 i'm gonna put like the name of the title like 2021 nissan 400c like that then you want to make it like much more like bigger so i would do like 140 like this maybe 150 like that and then if you want to add another one you just click on it and add southwest florida or in southwest florida so now this is gonna be a little smaller like 120 maybe then you want to add the background again and make it uh 10 so like do this like that looks pretty cool so then if you want to add the roblox logo you can just search up roblox logo whatever and just search roblox logo transparent and you can do that but i'm gonna add one later but that's just how you make a basic thumbnail so if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys like, subscribe, make sure you guys turn on post notifications so you guys never miss a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.